Right, good morning students. So today we're going to be doing a demonstration to start off our lesson. So here I have a candle, I have a balloon, and I have a lighter. So first what we're going to do is I will blow up the balloon and place the balloon over the fire. So when I blow into the balloon, remember I am blowing carbon dioxide out of my lungs and that's going to put air particles inside of our balloon. The balloon is not going to have nothing in it. It will have air particles inside of the balloon. So I'll first blow it up. And then tie a knot. Okay, so one more time. What's in our balloon? Our balloon has air particles floating around inside of the balloon. And now I'm going to light up the candle. All right, so now there is fire inside of our candle. And I am going to be placing the balloon over the fire. It's not going to be touching the fire, but it will just be placed over the fire and we are going to observe and see what happens. And again, some of you might already have some predictions or best guesses on what might occur, but we'll watch and see what happens. One more time to remind you all, the balloon has air particles floating around. Now let's see what happens when I place this balloon over the fire. Oh, let me drop. Here we go. Ready? All right, so some of you might have predicted or guessed that the balloon was going to pop. And now through this lesson, we're going to find out why did the balloon pop? What made the balloon pop in this scenario? That's the question that we're going to try to answer by looking at other kinds of demos and other um, simulations that we'll see online. Thanks for watching.